Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're doing well. Hope you had a great Super Bowl weekend. How was it? Did your team win? Let me know down below in the comments section. But folks, we do have some news here, and that is the fact that particular politicians want to see a lot more money added into your Social Security checks. In fact, as much as $2,400, 2400 buckaroos. So let's discuss exactly who is calling for this and what we know about this idea so far, where it's sitting, where the proposal stands. So let's get started and dive right into the video. But before we do, as always, make sure you folks do a couple things for me. Number one, give this video a tremendous thumbs up. Smash that like button. I would appreciate that. If this video gets to 500 likes, we'll actually do a cash giveaway where we give away $100 to a few of you lucky subscribers. And if you haven't already, of course, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and have notifications turned on. That bell will notify you every time we do post a brand new video. And the next cash giveaway will also be at 30,000 subscribers, so do take that into consideration. With this being said, let's get started and get right down to the news. So namely, these two particular politicians want to see Social Security beneficiaries, SSI, SSDI, anyone that is included under that umbrella. They want to see them have more money in their pockets on a monthly basis, and they want that money to come from the wealthy. They believe the rich are going to pay for this and let it trickle down back to you. This includes the outspoken Senator Bernie Sanders, as well as Senator Elizabeth Warren, alongside representatives Jan Schakowsky and Representative Val Hoyle. They introduced legislation to beef up Social Security benefits. In this legislation, they're also aiming to keep the program solvent through the year of 2096. And this is, of course, as Social Security beneficiaries are currently facing down checks being cut as soon as 2035 as the program's trust fund slowly runs out. Senator Bernie Sanders put out a press release saying, quote, at a time when nearly half of older Americans have no retirement savings and almost 50% of our nation's seniors are trying to survive on an income of less than $25,000 a year, our job is not to cut Social Security. He went on to say, our job is to expand Social Security so that way every senior in America can retire with the dignity that they deserve and Every person with a disability can live with the security they need. And this is as the cuts to Social Security have been more prominent than ever from the other side. And Biden has been absolutely scrutinizing the GOP and Republicans over their statements and comments that they've made over the last year or so. Bernie and these other legislators believe that Social Security's solvency and newly higher checks would be offset by actually raising the cap on earnings that are taxed for the program. Currently, only up to $162,000 is taxed for Social Security, while any income above that limit is free from the tax. Now, under Sanders' proposal, that cap would be lifted and income over $250,000 a quarter million a year would be subject to the payroll tax just like everyone else. Now, if my and your memory serves us correctly, it's not the first time that Sanders has taken a swing at beefing up benefit checks and extending solvency of Social Security. In fact, the progressive from Vermont introduced similar legislation over the summer, but the introduction of this legislation comes as negotiations over raising the debt limit are heating up, and Social Security, along with Medicare, have taken the spotlight. Republicans still hold a slim majority in the House of Representatives, and some of those politicians have made some outlandish comments regarding the programs, Social Security and Medicare. They've expressed their intent to use raising the debt limit and keeping the U.S. on top of paying its bills as leverage to achieve their own priorities, particularly in the form of spending cuts. Now, it's not exactly clear what GOP members are looking to do as far as cutting in a debt limit deal. However, some House Republicans have previously looked at Social Security and Medicare as the culprit. Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy clarified last month that cuts to both of these programs are off the table, but Biden and Democratic lawmakers have continued to blast the GOP over their past comments on the issue. In fact, just the other day, the White House Twitter account tweeted some images showing a side-by-side -side of President Joe Biden's comments alongside some GOP politicians' comments. Here's one, President Biden saying, quote, I will defend your Social Security Medicare. And comparatively, Senator Johnson saying, I just laid out the reality of Social Security. It's a legal Ponzi scheme. It is. It's a pay-as-you-go system. You have another image here from President Biden. 
saying, I will defend your Social Security Medicare. And Senator Scott saying, all federal legislation sunsets in five years. If a law is worth keeping, Congress can pass it again. Another one with the same Biden quote, I will defend your Social Security Medicare, against Senator Lee saying, it will be my objective to phase out Social Security, to pull it up by the roots and get rid of it. Those are Senator Lee's words. Senator Elizabeth Warren said in a statement alongside the legislation, quote, as House Republicans try to use a manufactured debt ceiling crisis to cut the Social Security that Americans have earned, I'm working with Senator Sanders to expand Social Security and extend its solvency by making the wealthy pay their fair share so everyone could retire with dignity. And obviously, this is not the first time either that Elizabeth Warren has called for higher taxes on the wealthy, notably during her campaign for president. And when it comes to Social Security solvency, GOP Senator Rick Scott actually unveiled a 12-point plan last year that would require all federal programs, including Social Security Medicare, to sunset every five years, meaning that Congress would have to repeatedly act to renew the programs. This would potentially put the programs in peril and at risk of being totally obsolete. We would not want to sunset these programs and have them being debated and voted on every so often. That would just spell out disaster for the American people that rely on these programs to live and survive and put a roof over their heads. But Senator Scott has been adamant on social media that his plans never proposed cutting the programs and he proposed legislation last week that would rescind the IRS funding and reallocated to Medicare and Social Security to, quote, address threats of insolvency. But still, this has not stopped the President of the United States and the White House from blasting his proposal. During remarks last week in Scott's home state of Florida, President Biden even brought a pamphlet that discusses the senator's program, and he said, quote, I know that a lot of Republicans, their dream is to cut Social Security Medicare. Well, let me say this. If that's your dream, I'm your nightmare. So the Democrats have stuck to their guns and continue bashing the GOP for all of its ideas that have made headlines over this last year, even leading up to the midterm elections. While the other side continues to deflect and deny and blame the other side. So there's a lot of politicking going on, but until actual pen is put to paper, we won't know what either side intends to do in regards to this debt limit ceiling crisis. We're hearing a lot of words, we're hearing a lot of fluff, but no action has taken place just yet, so that remains to be seen. We'll just be on the edge of our seats until then. As far as the $2,400 a year in additional benefits, that's something that if the Democrats were to take back the House, I think we would see that rush through the Congress ideally, and the Democrats could ultimately implement that. I'm curious, what do you think about Senator Sanders and Elizabeth Warren's plan? Do you like the idea? Do you like the proposal? Let me know down below in the comments section. I'm curious to hear. More news and developments and updates will follow suit. This is your one-stop shop. Make sure you share this video with a friend, get the word out, spread it on social media. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, smash the like button, get it in the YouTube gods algorithms. Go ahead and do that for me. And of course, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. If you want to get some free stocks, all meal free, just use the brokerage links down below in the description of this video. Sign up with the brokerage platforms Robinhood and or Webull. You'll actually get some free stocks all free, all on me, just for supporting the channel. So use those links below and let us know what stocks you get. If you want to connect with me on social media, I am on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on TikTok. Use all the social links down below. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care for now.